Hi, I'd like to show you some improvements we made to the Jenkins QJob build task during Sprint 104 for Visual Studio Team Services. This task was initially introduced during Sprint 102. In the task, first I need to select the Jenkins service endpoint. If I didn't already have one defined, I could create it by clicking the Manage button. Now over on my Jenkins server, DeepSpace CI is the job I'd like to queue. I'd like to call your attention to the WAR files generated by this job. Also notice that this job has a downstream project, which in turn has two more downstream projects. Back in DeepSpace CI, I copy the job name and paste it into the build task. New to Sprint 104 is the option to capture the full Jenkins job pipeline in the build task. We also added the ability to run parameterized jobs. To specify parameters, enter one per line with name value pairs. You can substitute variables here too. This job is not parameterized, so I leave this option unchecked. We added an option to trust the server certificate for servers using self-signed certificates. We also added crumb support for Jenkins servers protected against cross-site request forgery exploits. New to Sprint 104 is the Download Jenkins Artifact task. I specify the Jenkins endpoint and job name, leave the default download location, and enable Trust Server Certificate. This task can either download artifacts from the latest job execution or specify a specific job number. Next, I add the Publish Artifacts task in order to attach the downloaded Jenkins artifacts to this build. Now it's time to save and queue the build. I'm going to speed this up a bit. We can see the Jenkins console being captured by the task. And if we switch over to the Jenkins server, we can see the task in action. Soon the task will complete and trigger the rest of the pipeline, which we can also see captured by the console. Now that the pipeline is completed, along with the rest of the team services build, we can check the results. First, on the Artifacts tab, we can find the wars created by Jenkins, downloaded, and published to the build. Next, on the Summary page, under the Jenkins Results section, we can see the pipeline results. Finally, for more integration scenarios, please check out our website at java.visualstudio.com. Thank you for watching.